Yo, what up London, what up UK, what up hip hop? It's your boy Dirty Goods once again, young legend. We're here for another episode of Lyric Lab on SBTV. Today's another marvellous show, it's going to be a wonderful show. Today I've invited down my man's Carl Hines next to me, you know. Um, there's a story behind Carl that I thought I should let you know, you know what I'm saying? To me, Carl is one of the first hip hop entrepreneurs in UK that you need to recognise because this man has put in a lot of work out there on the streets. He's done a lot of work, you know, and it's, it's hard for independent artists to keep working. So I thought, let me invite this man down to share the story because hip hop's got a story itself. So therefore every individual character is going to have a story themselves. So yeah, man, I just want to let the people them know, you know what I'm saying, what's been happening with Carl. So first of all, you're an MC, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and you've been doing producing and stuff, yeah? Yeah. What but made you even first start writing, first of all? You know what? I'm a musician first and foremost, isn't it? Like, mm. As a little boy, I used to I used to bang on pans, pots and pans. Mm. So when I got to around about 12, I got into hip hop and I started hearing crews, Boogie Down Productions, right, KRS One, right, right, and Public right. Enemy, right, them two that. especially. You get me, and yeah. I was getting into them, and right. I wanted to assemble a crew, right, to rhyme over my beats. Okay, Did you know what I mean, you know what I mean, nah. So nah. yeah, okay, I had to start. Writing mm. lyrics, mm. do you know what I mean? So I could experiment and hear and hear bars over my beats, and wow. that's how I got into writing. Wow! You so you it? see, though, you see, like when you say Public Enemy and BDP and that, mm. what caught your ears? What made you listen to them? First of all, with Public Enemy, for example, it was a strong sort of um, visual presence mm. on their artwork. It was like 99 of them when they first came out. Right. Hit me. We chuck at the front, and I yeah. just thought, you know what, that's a, that's a really powerful image. Okay. You know I mean, positive uh. image for black people. And I grew up with my, my parents buying reggae music. Right. So I grew up with powerful uh, visual okay. images, you get me? Yeah. With the Rasta man, yeah. you know what I mean? Red, the gold, and green, you get, mm. you get me? So, mm. like, I kind of related mm. to that when I saw that Republic Enemy. Just saw that's another element of that same sort of positive, powerful imagery. That's right. That's what pulled me in, and I wanted to kind of create that same thing. Right. You know what I mean? Right. For people from my ends. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so basically, so from you've heard Public Enemy and KRS One and those guys, you decided that you want to make hip hop for a, for a cause, though. Yeah. Really. That's the, so you're not just, really you're not just rapping for rhyming, basically. You're, yeah. you're rhyming for a, for a, for a cause. The Listen, rhyming, I, wanted, yeah? I wanted to be the UK KRS. You get me? Wow. So my first lyrics was like wow. I was trying to school people <laughs> yeah. at 14. Yeah. Didn't really know much about life, you get me? Serious. But, you know what I mean? Mm. I, w I was into what they were saying and mm. I would research a couple of men that they were talking about. That's how mm. I found out about mm. Malcolm X and Martin right. Luther King. Right. You know what I mean, mm. already knew about Marcus Garvey and mm. whatever through reggae music. Mm -hmm. Who would you say, who would you say, like, just off the top of your head, who do you think is one of the most greatest lyricists? Nas. I ain't even got stretched stretch Serious, for that. yeah. I ain't even got reach back for that. Yeah. Be like, that's you know just what? There, we got to give a shout out to Nas live and direct, straight from the young legend Dirty Goods, because you know what? We've had other artists up here. And they've said Nas as well. You know what I'm Jay saying? So Nas though. speak for itself, you know, Nas. Salute, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. I remember I said to I remember one of your tracks, I used to see it on the TV and that. Track with Skinny Man. Right, let's have it. Let's have it. Classic. Right. Classic. Shout out to Skinny. Classic. That's just like yeah. hip hop at its finest right yeah. there. You know what I'm yeah, trying to yeah, say? Yeah, Two yeah. legends, you get me? Yeah. Beat was nice, music, and that video was nice as well. Yeah, I yeah, felt yeah, like yeah. it was ahead. Like, yeah. it, you know what I'm trying to say? There's a lot Respect. of videos that are not even reaching that level now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? At that time, it was, it was a good move because mm. um, me and Skinny kept bumping heads at clubs or whatever. Mm. You know what I mean? I mm. kept reaching out to him saying, I want to do something. Right. The funny thing about it was, mm. like, when I finally linked Skinny and said, right, let's do it, mm. bars was already written. Okay. He hadn't heard the beat. Okay. Nothing. Yeah. He told me the title. Yeah. Right, the track's going to mm. be this, boom. Mm. It's going to be about that. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? Mm. So, you know what I mean? It was, a nat it was a natural progression. It seemed like it was just meant to be. So that, did that come out on your own record label? Because you've yeah. got your own label, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Ill Flavor Records. Ill Flavor Records, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, I put that out, you mm. know what I mean? And yeah. everything that's come out uh, for me as an artist has come from my label from day one. Sure, I heard some rumours that you even released other sort of records on your label, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've released a few artists in our time. Yeah, you've know done mean? some like, international work and stuff as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, like, we've got a seven inch that we put out a couple of years ago, mm. which we kind of put out in Jamaica. Yeah. And the UK, which yeah. is featuring Caperton. Wow. We put out an international album for mm. artists, artists called Johnny Rewind, which wow. featured artists from the UK, mm. America, Germany, and Jamaica. And that mm. was a big album. That mm. went gold in mm. Europe, still. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. So I've been putting out other mm -hmm. artists, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Obviously, Twang and Shawnee T. And, yeah, so the UK you know heads I mean? as well, yeah? Yeah, people, mm -hmm. a lot of people have passed through the label at some point yeah. still. Yeah, yeah. You know. See, that's a quite, you know what I mean? The, the caliber's high right there, you know what I'm you trying know, to say? You know, a lot of people, viewers might not even have known that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know okay, I mean? so let's bring it right up to the times right now then. Um, what, what you kind of doing right now? You in the studio? Yeah, I'm in the studio right now. Mm -hmm. uh, put out um, a mixtape mm -hmm. uh, called so, Black Timing a couple months ago. Black Timing. And yourself, you're on it, and right. uh, my artist Bad Girl wants the she's on it and whatever. And we're, right. just, we're just doing a follow up to that now. Yeah. How do you feel about bars and songwriting? Because you know, do you reckon there's a difference between writing bars and songs? Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like when when mm. you're writing bars, you're mm. just thinking about saying the sickest things. You mm. know what I mean? And, mm. and cl clever wordplay. But when you're writing songs, you're thinking about structure and how you take someone from a journey. Right. You know what I mean? Mm. A song has really got to have a, a, a beginning, middle, and an end. So, Carl, you're actually for the for the few people or the very amount of people that do know what you've been doing. I know you're a lyricist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you need to let the people them know what kind of process, because everyone goes through a different sort of process when they're writing lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people like to write lyrics in the forest. Some people, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some people like yeah, to chill at home. Yeah, yeah. You, get me? you know what it is yeah. with me? Yeah. First and foremost, when yeah. I'm writing, mm. I don't want, I don't really want anyone talking to me. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, silence. Yeah, hush him out. Perfect silence. Yeah, you know I mean, mm. like, let me let me just meditate. Mm. Get on. Who's really influencing your music from a production point of yeah. view? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Right about now, I'm on I'm on Jalil beat still. You know yeah. what I mean? And like earlier, it was all about Premier, mm. Pete Rock. Okay, the real hip hop. Yeah, you know I mean, mm. like it was all about them kind of producers. Yeah. Timbaland, mm. love Timbaland. Do you, you feel? Know do you feel like? Did you feel like the Premier, the Pete Rock element? side of hip-hop is missing from today's mainstream radio and stuff and the culture and I'm like gonna, the youngsters, do you feel? You know what, you know what it is, mm. right? I'm gonna say something controversial. Like, music's supposed to move forward, isn't it? Mm. And it's supposed to evolve. So I feel like those producers must evolve. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't feel like the hip-hop's necessarily missing that sound. So what do you think about, um, you listen to, you get to get to listen to the radio much at all or whatever lately and how do you feel about that? Kind of lot that whole. Yeah. Radio situation of like not hearing nothing in the mainstream. It's kind, it's kind of funny because like mm. as an artist, mm. I'm not interested. Yeah. But as but as a record mm. label owner, mm. you know what I mean, I gotta kinda of stay abreast of what's going on, mm. you know what I mean, and trends and so on and so forth. Is there yeah. anything that you wanna plug what you're doing lately where the people can get at you and let them know what's happening for the Mr. Carl Hines, you know what I'm trying yeah. to say? Yeah, couple couple things, you know what I mean? You got yeah. first and foremost you've got the website where like anything anything that you ever wanted to know or Draw back to from Ill Flavor. That's illflavorrecords.com. You can get anything we've ever released okay. there. Mm. I mean, uh, you can catch me on Facebook, mm. forward slash Carl Heinz fans. You can get the label on, fa on Facebook, that's forward slash Ill Flavor Records. Me on Twitter, that's at Carl Heinz, K A R L H I N D S, all one word. Uh, the label at Ill Flavor, that's on Twitter. On Instagram, Carl Heinz. Just, just type in my name, man, and just yeah. link up. Mm. Simi. Mm. So you know it's the Lyric Lab, so you, you, you know you got to perform today, right? Um, so it's on you, right, isn't it? Yeah, of course, it's yeah. the lab, you know what I'm saying? Right now the lab's on fire. So you're going to let off some lyrics in, Absolutely. yeah? Absolutely. All right, then Carl's going to do his thing. It's another rap, your boy Dirty Goods, Young Legend, Lyric Lab, SBTV. It's in. Carl Hines, Lyric Lab, SBTV, Goods, what up? You know what it is. Yeah. Yo. That's how we do, it's really nothing. UK, worldwide stand up. Listen. You're talking to a true boss, pioneer self-made, ain't nobody help yet But still I am to every brick off, I don't give a toss Bear right here, catch a loss, and I do not bow when I face off Coming right here with your chest pushed out, and I send you back out with your face off This figure back out, you don't want me about Cause I make niggas like they can pull it off If you're unlucky enough to come up against me, best thing you could do but pull it off I am minister, sinister, bars, bait me, nigga please, you don't wanna take a full shot I punish a bandage, you crush niggas, don't figure why would you ever risk getting murked off Beat me in a battle's unheard of, never been done, never will be Fall back little hater and applaud me I obliterate those that oppose me You fancy hoes get smoked like some embassy Any MC can get it, but literally Ain't no flow in hip hop, that's beyond me I'm KRS Nas, Q20, Jay-Z I encapsulate hip hop entirely Beer fans wanna come back and pay try Cause they be lacking the real hip hop that I supply Obviously Blakey done with his pop rap guys Got it twisted, figure me and you the same size But we're not though, I've been
been here from day one, don't just hot low. I can shock the most flows, you got no flow. Company turn over, he's fast, you got no dough. Whoa, yeah, man, it's a little crazy. and that's what it is. Yeah, who's on the hook? Feel me. Carl Hines, ill flavor remnants. 2013. Yeah, you know what it is. www.illflavorrecords.com. With the extra W. You know what it is, fam. Sammy Do. Subscribe to SBTV to keep updated on the latest releases and check out more of our videos below. You don't wanna take a full shot. I punish a bandage, crush niggas, don't figure why would you ever risk getting murked off? Beat me in a battle's unheard of, never been done, never will be. Full back, little hater, and applaud me. I obliterate those that oppose me. You fast the get smoked like some embassy. 